everybody. We are back. As promised, my first guest is the world's youngest animal expert. Please welcome Jared Miller. Uh, Jared, good to see you. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Nice to see you, Jared. Fantastic to see you as well. You are look 11 the, years old, I believe. I'm 12 oh, next good. week. <laughs> look, but look at this little guy. Isn't this thing amazing? What is it? It's, it's a little deer. This is actually like in the deer family, just like we have the white tailed deer, but this is a very small species. Is this a, just a baby deer, or this is a deer that's. Um... Well, it's both. It is a baby, but it's also a little species. Can of deer. we put him on the ground? Yeah, and here, see... come over here. We'll graze with him. He's a. a they're actually like. A, they're called a munt jack. A munt Get jack. him away from your crotch. It's getting weird. Just put him on the ground. <laughs> well, here. Well, what just are you doing? no, you can pat him right here. I don't want him out of my crotch. Here we go. So I'm right like that. <laughs> and then... Let's take that quote out of context, yeah. please. Oh, yeah. here, here, and ruin your career. Oh, that's so sweet. Isn't Look that at really that. Cool? So and why are we feeding it paste? Well, it's I'm just milk. curious. Well, oh, this is milk. It's okay. kind of milk, you're right. And he, because he's a baby and they need the milk. And normally he'd be feeding off his mom. You know, right. this would be the warm milk. But little munchak deers are amazing. They're found in Vietnam. They're found all over Southeast Asia. And now they're actually taking over Great Britain. You can find these in the wild in Europe. Like, what do you mean? How do they get to Great Britain? They get on people, planes and they, fly over? Well, yeah. <laughs> like, people like smuggle them and stuff because they, yeah, they seem like they'd be a little pet. But they actually reek really bad. They have this odor. And if you smell here. I thought that was you, to be well, honest. Here, well, just, <laughs> can we let them hop around yeah, a little bit and just see them move? Just see. Oh, what his leash came off. Oh, here we go. So You're the worst the animal expert ever. Here we go. No. Oh, his leash came off. <laughs> but look at his little spots. Like, you can tell this is a baby. When he's full grown, this is a male. He'll have giant horns or antlers, and he can actually eviscerate. I mean, he can do a really bad job. I mean, look That's great. Loose. Bring him back when he can eviscerate and then have the leash pop off. But here, touch him real quick. That's touch good. Him real we, quick. We and should... smell your hand. Okay, that's... Uh... It's, it's excellent. Yeah, so, what a weirdo. We uh, all right. <laughs> Let's bring the next animal out while you yeah. feed that animal. And oh my oh, look at these. God! These are amazing. Here, Jerry, set them right down. These are uh, these are white. What are these? White tigers? These are I guess? Tigers. Here, Conan, grab a bottle real quick. Is there a bottle back yeah, here? Everything's drinking milk this morning. Here. Okay, okay hold on. Hold on. Here we go. Hold one. These are amazing. How oh old are God. these? These are only four weeks old. These are very very young. And you know what's so amazing? Have you ever listen seen? To, listen to. Isn't this unbelievable? These are actually. Have you ever seen a white tiger this close? Shh, quiet. The animal's really getting annoyed with your voice. These are. This is like. Like, animals like Rumsfeld. Here, watch this one too, real quick. Oh, baby, no, baby, no, baby, no, baby, no, baby, okay, no, no. There we go. Wow. Hey, let me just stick it in. There we go. What? Don't for it. It's like this isn't a fraternity, you know. Where's that chug, dude? You got a chug. Where's that? Where's the other one? The other one's moving around, but these. This is unbelievable. The other one's headed over to Siegfried and Roy's pad. <laughs> But these tigers, there's really only about 200 in the world, and you can only find these like in zoos or like in magic shows or whatever. I mean, this, they're so rare. That's why it's unbelievable. Look at that one. He's sleeping. This, this one looks like it has stage fright right now. Yeah. Just notice the audience. Was like, oh, my God. Keep nursing. Or keep feeding this keep one. Keep nursing. Keep nursing. I'll grab the other that one. That is so cute. Little but look cute. how amazing. Oh, this one's like, he looks pretty relaxed. I'm going to bring him over. Okay. That's so but great. But when they're full grown, this is going to be a 600 pound cat. Okay. It'll be 600 pounds. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, let's separate these That's two. great. We're watching life begin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But look at this. I mean, but the white tigers, again, are re these don't even exist in the wild. You can only find these in right. captivity. Right, especially these bred. Two, Hi there, little man. Hi and there. these two actually only came from two that were brought to the National Zoo, like, like over, you know, about 60 That's years incredible. ago. We're going to have to keep incredible. moving because we're, we're tight on time Alrighty. tonight. Can we just, uh, what do we do? We have to give them back? Yeah, let's, to... let's send these back. Thanks, oh, Jerry. sweetie. What there we sweetie. go. Oh, you got the other one? Yeah, I got the other one right here. Yeah, you need to feed in the box. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's eating my jugular. Is that something that... <laughs> well, that's, yeah, that's pretty typical. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Whoa. And when they get really big, yeah. I can no longer be cuddling them and stuff, well, right? Well, you can. It would just be a lot more hazardous. Here we go. Yeah. This, here we go. <laughs> All right, so, okay, good now, this, now this is going to be amazing. This is a huge bird, and it's so big, we had to bring it in on a gurney. And this is really unbelievable. This, and Tim's got, this is one of the largest And this birds. is how it travels in the wild on yeah. a little float. <laughs> with two Teamsters pushing yeah. it. Wow, what is this? Is this an ostrich? No, or it's a... actually, you know, it's cooler than an ostrich. This is actually, whoa. This is, a, this is an emu. Come on, grab this. Now feed Grab what? Quick. What am I going to do? Grab feed it some there. bread? Feed okay. it some bread, right. Here, emu, show it emu, them. emu, emu. But this is, <laughs> do I feed it little pieces yeah. of bread? Or just, he might grab the whole thing. Okay, he doesn't seem to care. Is that toasted or no? What do you mean? He, he needs toasted? No, no, it's not. You better cut the crust off, man. He won't. Because that's he, the only way he likes it. Does well, he like a little him, piece? He won't eat like, um, I don't know if he'll drink the bottle either, but he won't eat bread if it's, if it's, a, um, if it's toasted. He has to have it raw. Oh, oh look, are. he just doesn't want me handing it to right. him. He'll just eat it. But he hates me that much. But He's, these are, you know, it's funny that you call it an ostrich. 
because emus are found may only in Australia, and that's why they're so weird looking. And look at these feet, Conan. If, you, if they, this were to kick you, it could eviscerate you just like, the, just like the deer could. That toe right there can like cut you right in the abdomen and you know, anything else around there. So it's really, really So basically, amazing. when we run out of bread, we're dead, is what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, just keep feeding him. And what's, what's Do you have really more bad, of this, or is this well, all you brought? Well, this is this should satisfy him for as much as 10 minutes. Well, you know what's so cool about this time of year with emus is that they, they breed like in the spring, and what's amazing about their sound, they make a sound just like a drum. So if you had like bongos or something, we have bongos right here. Here. Yeah, I always okay. keep bongos back here in case. It's true. I always bring bongos. And actually, hopefully, I have everything back there. It's like I'm Gallagher. Uh, and what do I? Well, just just play him a little tune and see if he because if he responds what, to. what he responds to if he hears a bongo. Yeah, because that's how they, that's how they know how to mate or to mate with each other if you play the bongo drum. I don't want to have sex with the emu. Well, you, on... don't, well, you don't have to have sex with him, but just play the drums and see. Oh, if, just see tease him and yeah, then just, run away. Okay. Right, just, uh... Let the emu pick up the uh, tab. Right. Okay, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> you did this to make me look like a jackass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just occurred to me. That just occurred to me that you just like, oh yeah, play the bongos. That's what they really like. Yeah. <laughs> now put this feather in your bottom. They really like that. All right, we're gonna. I think we're out of time, Jared. All we don't right. have time. I know you have more animals, but we'll have to have you back uh, really soon All if right. uh, the uh, grade school will let you out. Jared right. Miller, everybody, give him a hand. He's a good man. DJ Qualls coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Good job. That was